DJ Firestar, Spotify, Influential Records. And I got my guy, my brother, the landlord. I, he don't need no introduction, you know what I mean? DJ Firestar, keeping it smashed. Hollow Man, Gigs, my bro, Influential Records. Obviously, I've been on man's case, but it's a pleasure, as always. What are you saying, fam? How are you? You know me, you got to stay on me. So... Bro, first of all, I just want to jump straight in, bro. The Meek record. How many records have you, man, got, fam? Yeah, me. Yeah. Um, that, well, that one, right now. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Crazy. What was, um, what was it like being out there, bro? Like, I know, you know. You've touched on it a little bit in other conversations, but last time I saw you, a couple of years ago, you told me um, you felt you'd done everything in the UK. You was waiting to just touch over there. Now you've had a little taste. Are you going to be over there a lot more? And- yeah, that's the plan, really. You know what I mean? Obviously, man, have been waiting to get over there forever, fam. You get me, like? So, yeah. Just want to keep building you know what i mean obviously it's <clears throat> it's hard to like maneuver and like try and get the world to hear your music when you can't go all over the world like you know what i'm saying bro you get me so yeah bro man just happy to be able to get there first and foremost more than anything more than work or any you know what i mean just yeah. like just be there full stop you know what i'm saying yeah Hundred percent. It's a lot. It's a lot better to be around the people that are your friends, artists, and others to to be creating in that space. You get me together. Yeah, yeah. Because it's never really like even like work wise, like a lot of the like artists and that man can't really work like because now when they come to England, it's a thing like like. They're in England flexing, you know, no one's having fun. I don't, I don't want to be that guy, like, oh, yeah, should we get in the studio? Like, you know, them ones, that man's yeah. enjoying it, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, more time, I'll just leave man to it, like, you get me, like, mm. and we just, uh, we just all, all flex and enjoy it, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, Is like, it, um, go on, sorry. Or even uh, if we do a song, you know, if we do a song, if we do work, if we do end up working, then we'll have the song. Then they're gone. Man can't yeah. go over there and shoot a video, promote. You know what I'm saying, bro? So it's, it's always it's like it's always something missing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is there a lot of planning? Is it is it going to take a lot of planning for you to be able to go over there now, or, or is it literally now? Whenever you want to go, it's 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 all good. No, well, it's, it's just like it's COVID, isn't it? Like you know what I mean? So it's the same. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Obviously, man went over there the other day, like, off, that man got an exemption, went over there, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then, fuck, but like, I can't just be getting exemptions all the time, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, obviously, man's got to wait till, like, see what's going on with US borders opening up, blah, blah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, I hear that. So, one of the people that you was with that I want to ask you about, um, Obviously, man knows it's with everyone, Jada, all of that, like Meek, Dave East, but it was Arab, Arab Music, fam, was in the studio with you. Oh, you know, oh, you know him, yeah, Arab. Bro, that's a, that's a dip set producer all day long. Like, what was that like, man? And what, what, is he cooking some stuff for you? Was he playing you some stuff? And you know what I mean? Um, yeah, he was playing a couple bits still. That man was. Like that was man was in the studio with Dave East then, you get me? Like mm. so that was more like East's session. You get me? He was showing around a couple of beats now, but it was more East's session, you know what so I weren't really intruding too heavy, like you right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You get me? Yeah, yeah. But I'm sure he, he it's not say intruding. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, obviously you're saying it's love and all that, you know the ones like, do you know what I mean? But like that was the next man so was, man was just more vibes it, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. And it was a lot of that when I was there, like more vibes and then building and you get me and just embracing being there then, you know what I mean? Yeah, and you had the crazy like, part. Yeah. 
You had the crazy party as well. Who kid was on the set, man? Shutting it yeah. down. Yeah, who kid? <laughs> Night Owl. The mad setting still. Yeah. I was playing ragga music in Rasta, California. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's ringing off. No, he's one of the coldest, man. I remember when I brought him to, uh, I brought him to Cambridge. And um, he, yeah, he fought that shit off, man. Like, yeah, it does. Yeah, that's that's a legend still. You know what I mean, I want to run through a bit of the catalog, so I try to make it as easy as possible for man. And um, I want you to pick something off. First of all, obviously, we're talking about the Spotify catalog, so it's a bit techy. You know what I mean? It don't go all the way. It don't go all the way back like that. But we start with Walk in the Park. Can't lace a smack of the bottle of the gun <laughs> <laughs> I want you to pick a record from Walk in the Park for me and talk about what record you picked, why you're picking this one right now, and maybe paint the picture about what was going on with the record in question. From Walk in the Park? Yeah, man. Mm, yeah, that, there was a lot going on them days. <laughs> you, know, that was like, <laughs> you know what I mean? One of the selections, bro, I should tell you, one of the selections a couple of artists picked was Cut Up Bag. Deep Green from Sheffield picked Cut Up Bag. Yeah, Cut Up Bag was mad still. So I don't know what you, you know want what to I like. You know what I'll pick? I'll pick um, Tess Out the Nine Remix. Okay. Yeah, because that was a sick session. Like, that, like all the SM1 in there, me, Tiny Boost, Cut, like, and everyone's just, you hear me, like, grind. Don't do that. And everyone's got their test out the nine contribution. Like, you know what I'm saying? That was crazy. Like, you get me? Like, like, like those are the days. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna run, we're gonna run that one from Walk in the Park. And let's keep it moving and go to let them have it. Now, I want you to speak about a specific record for me. One of my favorites. Um the record is Bus Commercial. Talk about what was happening when you was making that record and just break down again, you know, paint the picture for that. Bus movie. Commercial? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, um, that was man just, me and Tony Booth just laced um, who said that. Right. You get me? And um, there's just bare hard bangers on there. You know the ones and that? <laughs> then... One of my brethren's vests come in the studio and he was like, yeah, like, the streets are so you're not got hard. And I was like, what? I just laced who said that, man. Like, you get me? Right. And then he's like, boy, I mean, just I'll tell you what the streets are so you know, I got hard. You get me? Like, and I was like, what? Like, and so in my head, I've just made up my own scenario. What man think because man's like, this time I just got signed. You get me? So, man, so I was like, what man think because man's boss, like, Man's gone commercial, like you know that one's like. So you were extra, you was yeah, on a. Yeah, so man was gas, so then that, so then man's know that the beat niggas wanna hate, like fuck the it, hate, because I bust commercial, think I won't get them up and personal, like I won't, you know that one's like commercial or not, man's the hardest man. It's only gonna be grease, like think I won't get the young bucks to burst you. I got niggas on knuckles, uh, you know that, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what that was. Man pissed me off because <laughs> I bus commercial. <laughs> cold, and then the thing that it's a bus commercial thing, big bird holler, man. You know, no. <laughs> record, man. We're gonna run that one to set the tone as well and keep it moving to a project. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I, maybe I haven't taken this project in. This is one of your ones that I don't know, man. For me, oh, when we stop. Yeah, I just... You say you was into that one? Yeah, maybe there's just so much music people like to listen to. That's one that's never been on repeat. Obviously, there's bangers on there. You've got the joint with Styles P. But one of my favourites, I'm just going to say, is Breathe. I like Breathe. Um, but for you, pick a record off When Will It Stop? Um, and again, same thing, man. Break down. You didn't like the Kai's thing, the man Kai's thing. Um, <laughs> They said they still want it. That's all right. I still got it. I popped around with the rocket. And he said, what? <laughs> that was mad. 
Is that the one you want to like, play? Nah. Well, there's bear, like. But the, with that record, that was more... I think, like, that man was just in a dark place then, like, just come out of jail. Just before I went to jail, it was kind of in a dark place. You know them ones, like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, so it was just all dark, like, breathe, coming for me. Like, you know them ones, like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, position with intent, I got tried for that, to get my life back, I had to go to trial for that. You know them ones, I had to wait a little while for that. And that was all like, Jones just got life. Murder, my name is Jimmy, he got life for that. On the yard, put a look into his eyes for that. Like, you know them ones that is, mm. is a dark time in man's life. You know them ones say it was like, just like, it was probably more therapy than, right. than like fucking thinking, than success. Than a, you know what I'm saying? Like, you get me? So mm. that one, like, that's a more, a thing like, Boy, like if you didn't really get, I hear that because it wasn't really a bouncy, you know them ones. That then, like at the same time, even when I'm thinking about it, like best pussy, like that's my rhythm. The best pussy, the best, you know them ones. That but like maybe in that dark time, I was enjoying this pussy very much. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you get me, man. You know, you know how it goes. You get me? Like, you know what I'm saying? You know when you when you're feeling low and that you get me, you cuddle up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you get me? Is that the one you want to run off that the best pussy? Yeah. Boy, you can run the best pussy, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to run that one. And then we move on to an album that close to my heart, but probably 10, 10 million more times close to your heart. We get to the Landlord Project. And before we talk about a record off that bro you know heard you speak on it before about the times there before the record came out was it was it an all or nothing moment bro or is that a bit extreme to say like that but, um, for me it's always all or nothing man. you know what i'm saying like man's always hungry bro. like you know that one that you know what I mean? so like that's standard you get me like but yeah like them times like I'm just renting a yard because that's what I'm saying. That's like a couple years coming off of the back, coming out of jail, getting my life back together. Like you know, them ones. Like you know what I mean, like mm. I'm renting a flat, so I ain't got my. I'm renting a house, so I ain't got my dog. Like you know, them ones. Like, so yeah. I'm like nah, man, I need to get back up. Like you get me, like why she's always in the studio with man because I can't bring her to my house. Like so. That I always bring him studio so man can spend time. You know that one, you know what I'm saying? Pick up YC. And and you, you, you touch so on then, YC, the intro. You, you know what I mean? The intro is an emotional one on the landlord, man. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but that's, that was all to remind me of that time, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you get me? So, yeah, um, yeah bro, like, that, that, that project there yeah it's, but it's always all or nothing at the same time like you know them ones like do you know what I mean but that time was like yo let's get it cracking like you know what I mean and then when when it obviously it dropped in 2016 and then heading into 2017 we had the tour and you had the tour and um you oh, we we like yeah, we yeah what was that like where's all day in it what, what, <laughs> What was that like for you, bro, in the sense of a question that I had for you that I never asked at the time was looking back at Hammersmith, um, were you ever like, was there ever any doubts in your mind whether or not we'd even get to Hammersmith? In the back of your head, was there ever even like, shit, man, this might even get pulled or there was never any of that during that tour? Um. Yeah, but yeah, in a weird way, by the time like even before Hammersmith, like when I, like Kentish Town or whatever, like you know what I'm saying, like that was the first official show that allowed me to have, you know what I'm saying. But by then, I just didn't even give a fuck, like, like <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like if it's happening, it's happening. But like if you wanna like lock it off, then lock it off, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? That was 
where man was at. Like, just fed up, like, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, That's yeah, how you felt so, during the week, in that week or in the build-up? Like, obviously, like, it seemed like it was going to be cool because Kentish Town was already cool. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But at the same time, it's just like, is what it is. Like, if it happens, it happens. Like, you know the ones that, like, that's mm. where man ended up in the end. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like if it happens, it happens, bro. Like, you know the ones that. Like, do you hold that, <coughs> do you hold that, like, that Hammersmith show close to heart or it's just another show kind of thing for you? Um. Because obviously there's been loads since then, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, 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 it was a big, it was a big moment. Like even like for loads of things, like even like there was bare street niggas in there. You know what I'm saying? Like everyone was in there. Yeah, like and like, but we're all like in the end out there. There's so much niggas from so much different ends. We had to all go outside. You know them ones? Mm, and that's mm, how Hammersmith's Hammers big, like. But everyone had to go outside and pray. Like, we all prayed together. Like, you know them ones, like, moments like that. Like, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, more than music. You get me? Like. <coughs> yeah, no, 100%. So, bro. yeah, like, yeah, of course. That's a great moment, like, you know what I mean? I'm saying Buck come out on stage and then I've never seen Buck on stage. <laughs> you know that? I was like, it was weird. Like, real Buck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you get me? A legendary week and a flipping legendary ending, man. Like that, that, that show and just everyone together. It was like, it just felt like, it just felt like a yeah. moment. You know what I mean? Your moment. And then us supporting your thing. Like, it's crazy, man. Crazy. That's it. It's not really that. It, it's even you see when you even say yeah, your tour, your mo. It never feels like that. It's always just the man them. Uh, yeah, like, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying, bro? You get me? Uh, Do you remember um, before we pick a record off Landlord? Because there's so many joint, every just everything on there is. Just, you know what I mean? Just plays on repeat half the time. But uh, I remember the first night of the tour. I think I w I've said this story before, but I woke oh, you up. You woke up the fucking tour manager, man. I woke up the right, bus. Man, I wanted to fucking kill you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Not the tour manager, the bus driver. Yeah, I wanted to fuck. Hey, you know them times. I'm probably trying to trying to not switch in that. You know them ones. But really, in my head, I was thinking you're fucking off to the tour. <laughs> H, hey, hey, let me tell you something, you might not know it, I don't know if you know this, but Buck rang me half hour before you rang me, and he stuck it on me, and I thought, okay, it's done now, and then when you called half an hour later, bro, I did not want to answer that phone call, fam, and yeah, you, I mean, you told me. That man you. woke up in a bus driver, fam, <laughs> the bus driver has to sleep, you know what I'm saying, when we're sleeping, they're driving. Yeah, it's exactly what you told me. They don't sleep. We we might die. You know? <laughs> That's exactly what you said. <laughs> they fall asleep. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, blood. The man's waking up the fucking eye, blood. I was fuming. <laughs> one of you that broke the toilet as well. No, 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 I don't. None of that. Was, none of <laughs> that was, was me, bro. I reckon that, that was young Teflon. Or sus. I think it was sus. Uh, yeah, sus. <laughs> because the most active, energetic. You spend a week with him, he's the, uh, bro. I don't know, man. What he's, what he's on, <laughs> but he's, yeah, his energy is, is something else. But I'm bro, the toilet niggas is a mission. <laughs> that is some proper fucking like man was fucking babysitting. Bro. You know that ones. <laughs> but yeah, nah, that's the that's the good times. Like you know what I'm saying, like yeah, God, man. like so fun and jokes. You know that one in the end. So speaking of the album. Pick one for me, bro, off that project you wanna you wanna run, man. Landlord. 
Yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Well, maybe it's hard, like when you're just saying pick one, like you know. Yeah, no, I gotta put you on the spot because it's but the yeah, other maybe way. just um, maybe the new shit. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> You know why I picked that? Because Jamie always used to love that too. Yes. <laughs> but you got a couple. I wasn't. I wasn't sure if to bring this up. But there's a couple records for me. There's that, and there's the Ruler as well, which is at the end of uh, Wamp to them. I think. Wamp to them, yeah. Yeah, the Ruler, the new shit. Cut for the manga, the cash for that. And uh, and and I'm gonna speak on this one later as well. But Hoochies as well on the new one. Them three tracks, like, they're just different, bro. They're just different mm. records, them three. Them, so, songs like that I make for me, like, that, kind of thing. I'm saying. You know I mean? Yes. Like, who choose that? Like, who choose flexing? You know, like, it's just... Big record. So when I make them songs, I think, oh, no one's going to like this, like. Nah, nah, nah. But nah. I just make it anyway, like. You know, no one's... Right. So we're going to play the new shit off Landlord. We'll get into that one. Let's keep it moving. Straight after the tour, straight after the landlord, you dropped a mixtape. One of the hardest, still one of the hardest tapes out as well. Bear bangers weren't to them. Talk about this record and pick pick something off that again. You know what I mean? So many. Um, big bad. No, off uh, weren't to them. Oh, weren't to them. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was um, that was more like. What was that? That was just after like um that was straight after the tour, bro. When, that was after after man done like um after KMT and that dropped. Yeah. You get me? And then I was seeing like bare like bad comments like from um on Twitter. Mm. It's like like a lot of American you get me, but it's just online. You know you know online like, <clears throat> like oh yeah. And then there was like, I remember there used to be that show with um, academics and um, Joe Every, Budden and that. Uh, Everyday struggle. And it's like saying, yeah, that thing whack like that. And I'm like, what? But that was when I like, what to them? Like, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The man was just going hard. Just bare bangers. Like, you know what I mean? It's just, it's just more of that, really. Like, you get me? Like, bro, let me just go hard and let me just. Drop a tape with just bare hard bangers, like you know what I mean? Like, kind of thing. Most projects are fueled. Most projects are fueled from like shit like that. You know what I mean? Like disrespect. Mm. And, you get me? Well, you want to play off that one? Of one to them. Yeah. And um, ultimate gangster. So that's my one of my favorite of them. Yeah. With chains, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna. When I got that two chain verse, that was mad. I was gasped. Big. And he bodied it as well. Yeah, yes. that one. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to Big Bad. Now, for me, this feels like the last album when things were flipping normal, bruv, in the world. I'll be real with you. Like it was the last show that I went to to see you perform performing. Oh, that's um, Wembley, isn't it? Fucking hell. Yeah, yeah, Wembley, and you had man. Wembley. Every album's had a show, isn't it? That's Manchester, crazy. Manchester before that as well. <laughs> Um, yeah, but yeah, it just it just felt like that was the time when everything was, you know, what I mean, before everything went mad. So again, on here, bro, it's just so many bangers. You got Yachty on there, you got French, you got Swizz on there. Um, talk about that project a little bit and and pick a record off there for us, please, bro. No, one of my favorite tunes. That yeah, that was more. Big Bad was a year. That was that's when I just built my new studio. Like, and I remember the first thing I made mean, was Mike Check, the one with Jada. Okay. That's why I remember that at the beginning of the song. I'm saying, right, is the mic on or something? What are you saying? It's working. Like, mm. could we just okay. set up the set up the studio and uh, you get me? Yeah. Something I said at the beginning. Like, right, is this is this? What are you saying? Is it working? Is the mic or something? Probably turn my headphones off or something like that, you know what I mean? But like something like that. And then um the man's just gone in, yeah. And you go, Mike, chip. Left, right, and then it's right, left. You know the ones that and the man just started recording bangers like this is more just training, like trying to up the level. 
So that's why I even um, like even a lot of people was like, oh, I weren't really feeling big bad, but I just know that's way in the future. Like you know, them ones like all my album projects, like you get me. So that one's a personal one. My favorite, one of my favorite songs off that was um, "Talk About It" okay. of um, Theophilus London. Yeah. Talk about it. And then wake up in a pizza. You know that was a wavy to you get me like you know what I'm saying? So when I dropped it and people weren't feeling that. Well, not even saying people weren't feeling it. I was gonna it, say you I feel like know, people weren't feeling it. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't know, innit? That's why it like yeah. but it didn't really ring off like the way I thought it was, you know that one, but that's us yeah, it's just in the future. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, cold. So, what do you want to go with? Mic check. No, nah, talk about it. I talk about it. All right, all right. All right we're gonna run that one. And, and mic we'll, check. Play both. Yeah, we'll play both, both of them. We'll play both. <laughs> well, obviously, when you got Jada's verse, you weren't together, innit? You didn't. You didn't. Didn't link up for that. No, nah, I couldn't go to America. Then, remember? Exactly. Like, they said it, but yeah, I remember when I got out, I was gassed. I bet. I remember. I was, I was me and Buck was in Ghana. Right. Man, I'm gonna kiss first, blood. <laughs> and it just body there as so, well, you know, kiss never misses, like, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, never. You get me? And then, like, it was like, he finished it classic as well, like, you know, them ones that, like, that's why, man, cut the beat like that, yep. like, you know, them, I remember I was watching some, some, um, it was like a podcast or something, and it was, someone was saying, yeah, like, and he, the kiss, um, Jada thing, like, it just stops, like, out of nowhere. That's so professional. That's like, what Jada I thinking, does. I was thinking, that's classic D-block, like, yeah. you know, they want to kiss, style, the kiss murders, then they just cut the beat, like, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, <laughs> you get me, like, and that is on man's thing, like, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, you get me, like, so, yeah, bro. Yeah, so, yeah, Buster might check and it's all Run on right. both. What was it like, then, obviously, spending some time with Jada, man? Have you, did you cook anything up over there with him at all? Um, man, just um, I went to watch some party Jada had. It's like some fucking weed party, blood. You get me? Because weed is legal in New York now. You know what I'm saying? So there's like some weed party, and like you go there and everyone's selling weed, blood. And man's got like pounds of weed, pounds like it says skittles, one pound. You know, big bag. And the music's ringing. A man have got pounds in the air skanking. You get me? Then kiss come through. Then he laced. What's that new thing he's got? Um, is it called? Is it? A, what's that new thing? Then him and Funk Flex thing. You know that new thing? Talk. Um, I, I remember what it's called. That's what it's come to or something. Right. Something like. And he's lacing that, and I'm like, nah, that's my like kiss, you know. You know that one time. Yeah. Big and saying, man, just shake. Because I always chat to kiss. We've never linked. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you get me? Like. Like, bear man, a lot of men I've like, I chat to, I've never linked. You've never met them. In person, yeah. like, but I still yeah. chat, like, my reason and that, like, you know them ones, like, mm. you get me? So, like, yeah, bro, but, yeah, so it was just, man passed through his thing, but I didn't link him again after that. Right. But man's link is moving around so much, like, you know them ones, like, and, and I'm feeling that like, raw time's running out, it's only a month, it's like I was on a timer, like, in mm. America, kind of. I didn't want to go home, like, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, well, obviously, man's got kids and that. I've got to balance it. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, you get me? No, all in good time, man. You know what I mean? All in good time. Um, we're going to run, we'll run them two off the project. And then let's get into your influential records, H. Something maybe you was banging when you was growing up or, a, you know, artist that maybe got you through just... What influenced you? Do you know what I mean? I mean, I've got an idea of what you're going to select, in my opinion. Like, there might be some Jada in there. There might be some Master P and et cetera, et cetera. But influences. What, you know what I mean? What, what you were listening to, man. Like, give, me, give me your first, first selection. Well, yeah, Master P. Yeah, man. There's no Master P. There'll be no spare no one, but you know, no one. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the real. You get me, like, so, yeah, I don't know. Play that like masterpiece, fucking. Um, 
last stunt, play the last stunt. <laughs> Not the last stunt. Um, the tune with fucking bone fucking and harmony. What's that tune? Yeah, that's it. Till we're dead and gone, play that one. Master B bone. Yeah, till we're dead and gone. So were you were you messing with everything? No limit was putting out them times, H. Yeah, everything, everything. I spent mad money on them. <laughs> and them <laughs> albums are expensive, like twenty quid, twenty three pound. Them CDs you know were saying, not man? cheap. They were not yeah, cheap, bro. Them I spent imports. Mad bread, mad bread on no limit, fam. <laughs> <laughs> Get me? Yeah, yeah, I see that. And then obviously the other day I see you put out that post because obviously Mac, the Mac, Mac got really. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? That's part of the no, no limit click. So the, I mean, that's a big look as well. Like, of course, you, Matt was cold, fam. I was pissed when he went to jail, man. I just I remember thinking. copying a silk, the shocker, fucking CD, man. I had to get someone Which from one? Uh, one of his albums, man. But the shit cost me like it cost me twenty pounds. Uh, someone, had yeah, to get no. From sometimes you might bust a twenty-five pound. That was my <laughs> though, then, my man's so young and. <laughs> you know that one, man. Yeah, yeah. Right, one album, twenty-five pounds, man. No fucking mad thing, man. Crazy. That man with no limit. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent, man. Silk, you know, mystical them times. Mm. Um, crazy times. Even cash money as well. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Make that my next song, cash money. Um, the hot boys. Yep. When the hot boys were riding, that was hard. Hey, okay. yeah, that was. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously. Without that, we might not have like Drizzy and all that now. You know what I'm saying? Like without that come up, you get me? Like so, like and a lot of men don't even they know little way they don't even know hot ways. You know what I'm saying? Like so, yeah, run that hot way. We riding. Okay, when Wayne dropped that, uh, the block is hot. He dropped the album called The Block Is Hot. I remember that on the green with the green cover. Or is it red? It's red. It was, it was red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that lights yeah. out. Lifestyle. But yeah, I just remember copy, <laughs> copying that from Wayne and again, same thing, just cost an arm and a leg. But And them times, a lot of people weren't even, a lot of people where I was anyway, they weren't I feeling feel that. Like, nah, they weren't feeling cash. They just thought it was all gimmicky, like no limit and cash money. But I don't know. Them times, I'm not going to lie though, I wasn't really feeling that um, cash money because I was like under no limit thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, man, yeah. so when <laughs> man used to be doing like cash money, I used to feel like, Nah, man, no limits harder these times. <laughs> They're both hard. But I still used to bump. We ride in, we mm. ride in. Like, bad cash money. You know them ones? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you get me? I hear that. So we've got two there. Give me a, give me a third one, H. Influential. Um, for you, man. Influential. Um, Ice Cube was all, today was a good day. Can put okay. that. Yeah. You know them ones? Talk about that. Talk about that one. The OG, OG. There's nothing to talk about. It's Cube. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Listen to that. That's some gangster music there, you know. Just waking up, gotta thank God, you know. <laughs> Big record. Well you wanna jump into the fourth? What you got for me? What like what was it like when man was growing up where like influenced man to yeah. get into music? Yeah, just no, anything that influ any tracks that you just remember, you know, when you look back, obviously you think fucking hell yeah that that artist or, you know? Yeah, like a Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg, fucking Gin and Juice, you okay. know, and them kind of, you know what I mean? Like, that album, I used to walk to school listening to that. Yeah, um, Doggy Star is one of my favorite albums of all time. Doggy, yeah. Yeah, that album was flawless, flawless. You know what I mean? Um, it's too much, man. Five, like, you know, the ones from where man, from what influence, man. Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Can't name it in five, like, yeah, but now, it, I think, uh, no one can. I meant bear, man. You know, the ones that like, you get me. So we've got four. Give me a fifth, H. Nah, just put NWA. <laughs> 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 yeah, the, the ice cube. <laughs> yeah, the ice cube and easy tune. Um, What's that two gangsters and two? what was that four, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, um the fifth. Um fucking because it's not just rap that influence, man, it's ragger as well. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you get me? Yeah. So, I had RA on and he just picked all ragger. 
Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Them times, them times is the ragga yeah. and rap. Like, yeah. yeah, obviously for me, Bounty was the guy. You know the ones that. Like, okay. You know what I'm saying? You get me? So, I don't know. Just say like Bounty, fucking. Um, oh, there's a hundred million Bounty. <laughs> I'll just pick one. Fuck. I'll just run a Bounty. You get me? Yeah, just run Lodge, Lodge, <laughs> Bounty, Killer Lodge, just for the culture. <laughs> oh, hey, let's talk about um, now or never, fam. Let's play something off, off, the, off the new new, bro. Talk to me about the project, you know what I mean? A little bit about record off that you want to you wanna run and why. Now or never. Yeah, man. Yeah, that was, that was, yeah, man was just, that was another just vibes and up in the level, you know what I'm saying? Like, going hard in the pandemic as well like you know them ones like do you know what i mean like just enjoying music i was that project i actually started i wasn't really gonna even make a project i just made opportunities buff baddies debonair you know what i'm saying then that's for rally just sounded like project tunes like yeah you know i mean then man just then i wanted to make something in america then there was a pandemic you know what I'm saying? So then I just finished it all here. Like, you get me? But yeah, man, I just enjoyed that one. You get me? Yeah, yeah. Well, should we play off that? Um, maybe. Um, it's hard, the Emily Sandy thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're going to run that one now. Before you bounce, bro, had a little game you might want to partake in it you might not got some of your bars here i wanted to give you the bars and see if you know the tracks bro you feel me all right the first one terror squad like big pun in them i got a pump right in front of them body me a stranger oh that's me and kai's um matt daddy Correct. Sick. We're going to play that one. Second one. Mac cocked. Fuck a strap in a sock. Roll up. Jump out That's like Jack. Panic. Yes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I got a couple Mac more. Cocked, fuck a strap in a sock. Roll up. Jump out like a Jack in a pot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This next one. Got rid of Alicia. Now I'm back with Annika, all getting crazier. Back with Anika. Anika, yeah, sorry. <laughs> that, I wrote it correctly, bro. That wasn't no mistake on uh, the, the online lyrics. I know how you get vexed with them lot for getting the lyrics wrong. But... <laughs> yeah, that's um, um, Man Are Outside. All right, correct. Next one. Man Drink Yak. Ain't fucking with no gin and tonic. I should give it away straight away. Man, get. Go on. No, go on. Man, get table tennis when I ping and pong it. Ain't no singing song in when I bring the wallet. Every time I drop new shit, I bring the Sonics. I can't think of it. Come on, bro. <laughs> I know the lyrics. I know the lyrics. I can't think of it. I know the lyrics. You want a clue? Go on. I can either give you a time stamp or I can give you... Okay. What is it? Fuck a gin and tonic? What? Man drink yak. Ain't no fucking with no gin and tonic. Man get taken. Ain't t- no song <laughs> when I bring the wallet. Mm. When I ping and pong it. What song is that again? Oh, <laughs> hey, man. You're gonna be like, what? I'm gonna tell. I'll give you a clue. It's 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 obviously recent. If you want another clue, I'll give you another one. Oh, right, I'll give you. A, I'll give you the biggest clue. There's someone else on the record as well. So you got someone featuring on that. I've mentioned. What song is that? I've mentioned this record to you before. I said to you, it's one of my favorites. Featuring a US artist. Yeah, no? the, the, that's not, nah. What was it? 
it's hold up with Montana. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that was it, that was it. <laughs> Still can't remember it now. Nah. <laughs> I've got two more, two Come more, on. two more. Real quick. All right, this one. When I squeeze down on the tray pound, clean your blood with a tea towel. Oh, end the season. End the season, season two. two. Yeah. <laughs> Cold. That ain't even on Spotify, so they're going to have to look for that one on, on wherever they can find it. Um, all right, one more. SN1 tatted, and I'll put that on the tallies, man. It's Mr. Fox. And the tallies, man. Yeah. It's Mr. Fuck. Oh, that's, yeah, that, I mean, that's a hot boy freestyle. Correct. Off straight murky. One tight and I'll put it on the talisman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make them Wesley Snipes and Woody, Woody Harrelson. Cold, cold, cold. But yeah, bro, that's, that's everything, man. Like, what do you want to tell the people locked in? What you got, what you got cooking? What can we expect from the big Just man? Yeah, man, man. Same old hollow man geeks, you know me, I always come with something, but right now, just here. 